Oh, college. A time of a person's life where they could go get a higher education, meet new people, make new friends, and have their First Amendment rights violated? Oh, dear God. What's up, everybody? It's Little Willy 618 bringing you guys a video after a decent hiatus. Sorry about that. But today, I saw something in the news that kind of got me on edge. And today, it is um, a story from the University of New Hampshire. Um, the RRJ review, or IJR review, excuse me. I'll have it linked in the description. But University of New Hampshire put out a list of problematic words, a 12 word list of words that you should really think about switching out for your vocabulary. And first off, I don't like any of these types of lists because I believe in free speech. I believe that you should be able to say what you want to say without persecution. Granted, I feel like you shouldn't be racist or sexist in your tone. And obviously, if you're promoting any sort of hate speech, yeah, you get the heck out. But to ban certain words because they might be triggering or they might be problematic, as New Hampshire calls it, I don't get it. Especially with these list of words that are here in the 12 list. And you can read them along with me, but I'm just going to say them right here because you're going to laugh at some of these if you're anything like me. So, let's talk about numero uno, American. American is a word that is problematic. University of New Hampshire in the United States of America and American is problematic. What the hell? As an American, I am very offended that that is on the list. Mothering and fathering. Words two and three, mothering, fathering. The act of being a mother and then the act of being a father. That word is offensive. That word is problematic. What? Number four, illegal alien. Um, I'm not going to try to defend that one because really that's describing people who illegally cross the border. Technically speaking, they are quote unquote illegal aliens. I mean, I'm not sure how that was really problematic. It's kind of uh, one that just perfectly describes what a person kind of is if they cross in the country illegally. Caucasian. So does that mean I could call myself white again? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I thought Caucasian was supposed to be the polite form of saying that you were a white person. Homeless or poor person. Homeless, I mean, you're homeless. You don't have a home, and that's sad, but it's um, kind of the word that is used to describe you. I don't get it. As for poor person, um, you know, you're low income. I mean, you could probably say person with low income or something, but I mean, poor person, I'm not 100% sure if I could back that up for a problematic list. And this one, if you guys know anything about me, this one's going to be hilarious for you. Obese, overweight, healthy. Okay, obese is a technical term to describe someone who is over a certain weight, who is over a certain BMI. Okay, that's kind of a thing. Overweight, same thing to a lesser extent. And I gotta say, on those two fronts, as a fat guy myself, as a guy who carries around who carries around a keg and not a six pack, um, I gotta say that those two words, I don't see how those are problematic. Those actually do describe me very well. I laugh in the face of people who say that I'm fat or I'm obese or I'm overweight. You know, I've, it's been said to me so many times that I really don't get triggered by it anymore. And to be honest, I don't think really any fat person in this country at least really gets triggered by it anymore. They just go, ah, screw you, I'm trying to make it better. And as far as healthy goes, um, if someone's healthy and say, hey, you look very healthy, you know, you look like you work out, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't see how healthy is problematic. Orientals is the next word on the list. And Orientals is a word that describes people from East Asia. So people like people from Japan, people from Korea, people from China, you know, that area of the world. I mean, that's just describing where people are from. Are we going to start banning African? Are we going to start banning American? Well, there you are, ban American. What am I saying? We're going to start banning African, European, um, Russian, Indian, Brazilian. I mean, we're going to start banning those words as well. I don't get it. And number 12, freshmen. This one's probably the only one I can think of because people will haze freshmen. But at the same time, freshmen, that's a word. Just like 
fraternities that say pledge, and I know this from experience because pledge was used in my fraternity. Really, it depends on how it's used. I mean, you could call someone a pledge and it could be the um, most awesome thing in the world, or you could call someone a pledge and it'd be the most derogatory thing. Same thing with freshmen. You know, you're a freshman, hey, that just means you're a first year student here. Or freshman, hey, we're gonna kick your ass later. <laughs> but, you know, it just seems like these words, everyone is trying to really just, especially like college campuses, and this is something that is really mind boggling to me, but it seems like college campuses are really clamping down on people's First Amendment rights, and it's something that I don't think should be happening, and it's lists like this that I really start getting um, really concerned about whenever it comes to freedom of speech. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think this list is problematic? This list of problematic, problematic words is problematic on, on its own. Or do you think it's a good idea? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, favorite, share, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. But anyway, guys, my name's Lily618. Please subscribe. Peace.